Okay, who's ready for lots of stamina spirit battles? Because, yeah, these are probably gonna be entirely stamina. But yeah, there are some non-Fatal Fury characters here, so like, you're from Samurai Showdown, you're also from that, and that's the Psycho Soldier, and you're actually not from Metal Slug, but for some called Ikari Warriors. So let's begin, I'm guessing you're... Apparently Terry enters the King of Fighters tournament to fight Geese and avenge his adoptive father, so are you his adoptive sibling? Um, well, this looks like a pretty standard fighting game match. Reduce jump power and stamina battle. And obviously I'm going to be using Terry for all these. Fighter, yeah, this one looks kind of cool. <laughs> all those stamina ups. Okay, I've had trouble with using low level spirits in the past. Oh, that just says the King of Fighters, okay. Pasta! <laughs> okay, I'm guessing there's there's more of a deeper reference to that, but um, but yeah, that's kind of funny that we're on uh, Delfino Plaza and there's a song called Pasta Plaza. Reminds me of that one. The only ever appeared in the arcade Punch-Out fighter called, just called Pizza Pasta. Aha, dodged right into the power wave. Victory! Well, that was pretty easy. But yeah, you're only a one-star spirit, so yeah. And again, can't really comment because I've got... Oh, okay. <laughs> that happened. I think they also added some new spirits when uh, the Link's Awakening remake, remake came out because there was an owl uh, spirit, which is kind of funny because it's someone's Kyogre on you immediately, who I'm guessing is meant to be the Windfish. But anyway, okay. I've seen this. I recognize this name. I think you were like people's guess for actually being uh, being the representative in this one. Stamina about reduce jump out or club, okay. I'm guessing that's not so much for the club and more for the wind attack. I'm guessing you have some kind of cyclone attack in your home game. Because I don't I don't really think you'd be the kind of fighting game character to use a club. That's not going to end well. That's really not going to end well. I think my side B is somewhat decent recovery, though. Sort of. Not amazing. But I, I was trying to do the backward version, and I'm dead. Predictable. I'm guessing the command inputs still work when you're in the air. Oh no, I, I did the backward version where I meant to do the forward version. And then I did the... I think that saved me there, actually. So yeah, as you can tell, I am terrible with fighting game inputs. If you could not already tell that. This is why I don't play fighting games. Oh. <laughs> and he gave me the win, because he felt sorry for me. Positive. Yeah, I, I actually have some videos of me playing Marvel vs. Capcom 3 online on this channel if you want to see them. They're not good. I don't think I won, like, at all. But, yeah, it's it's not just the fact that I suck with the button combinations. It's also because Australia, uh, like... Yeah, I get incredibly bad lag in any action game online. Except Mario Kart. Mario Kart's pretty decent from what I can tell, but, um... Oh, that was a... you flew very high. I'm guessing you get launched pretty... went right through the crack there. Uh, pretty far. I wonder if the, the barriers get broken more easily if you whack a heavier character into them? I'm not sure. Actually didn't mean to do power dunk there, but it worked out. Or power duck. Yeah, it seems like everyone's getting launched really easily in this one, but I might just be using a good spirit. This almost feels like a home run contest, actually. And through the wall. That's actually pretty satisfying. Yeah, again, I'm sorry I can't comment because I have no idea who that is. Also, my spirit was pretty low level, so I guess everyone was just being launched more easily. I'm gonna save you for later. 
And now I do vaguely know who you are because you are the one that Dan Hibiki in Street Fighter is a parody of. Apparently Dan's pink um, gi is supposed to be a parody of this guy's orange gi. I'm not really sure why, but <laughs> also that's kind of funny. Although that costume looks a little bit more Goku-ish, but still. Nice dodge there. I have broken the kanji. I'm pretty sure. Does that say? Does that say? Yeah, it does say Furin Kazan. Or you know. I believe it's swift as wind, calm as the forest, fierce as fire, and unmoving as the mountain, or some sitting in that. But yeah, I think what happened was Capcom thought that this guy was uh, a ripoff of you, so they decided to make Dan as like a counter attack, and then they got crossover fighting games where they fought each other, and um, Dan could actually encounter the character that he's a parody of. And another instance of me thinking my down B is a counter, and it's actually not. Nope. Uh oh, that's not good. Don't hit me, please. Yes, you hit me. Um. I feel like I might actually not die to this. No, I'm fine. Oh no, I missed it with that, didn't I? Ah! Yeah, I could have shown up the final smash there. Victory! But yeah, apparently, like, the, the three pillars that you summon to start out up that attack, they can hit anyone, but only one person can get caught in the actual final smash. Switching over to Yellow Terry for this one. So I want to see what his hat says. Oh, Hungry Wolf. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure... Isn't that the Japanese name of Fatal Fury? I'm pretty sure that is. Like, that's, that's actually what it's called. And, like, I think Terry is the wolf in question. Which makes sense given Buster Wolf. Whoa, nice one. Okay. Didn't even take any damage there. Wow. And I immediately jinxed that. This is actually a pretty fun stage. Like, I love the breaking people through the wall. Oh, no, don't do that. Can you still walk? Nope, you can't walk off the edge. That is an invisible wall. So I'm not saying much. I'm just concentrating on this here. Okay, got a bit of a crack there, but didn't quite break it. One more solid hit on that wall with your body, and that should... Come on, come on, let me smash that wall. Let me smash that wall with your face. There we go. Literally, actually. Oh, hi, Captain Falcon. <laughs> I take it you're not pleased that I defeated your pets. Now you must fall before my kick of doom. I was actually meaning to do the down beat here. Nope. Aha, you... <laughs> <laughs> you missed, and I was about to say I'm going to punish you for it, and I completely failed at punishing you for it. I saw the um, history of Captain Falcon in Competitive Smash video recently, and it was actually pretty interesting. Yeah, it's kind of a case of, like, Captain Falcon, um... Okay, I, maybe I can show my final smash. There you go. <laughs> okay, that was satisfying. But, yeah... Suffering a little bit from, what would I call it? I guess I could call it, like, Reggie Ice Syndrome. Uh, in that he was bad in Brawl. Not so much for him being nerfed, but more um, for just Brawl's mechanics not suiting him at all. I call that Reggie Ice Syndrome because Reggie Ice was actually pretty good in Gen 3, but then in Gen 4, Stealth Rock, then adding way more fighting moves and the physical special split just meant that it, even though its stats were the same and it was still, like, in theory okay, the environment just didn't really suit it anymore. And now it is Wolf versus Wolf. I have no idea why Terry's called the Hungry Wolf, but... Wait. I know that term, like, Garol, like, you see that a lot in Japanese media. I think, like, that's partly what John Talbain's Japanese name comes from as well. I've always noticed that character that they never reference in anything because Westerners love him, but he's not very popular in Japan. Uh, oh, High Wolf 2? 
Don't know if this guy has like twins or clones in his original thing. He seems to have really low stamina too. Okay, I don't want to speak too soon, but these fights are being a lot easier than I than I expected. About to say that I remember them being, and then I'm like, wait, no, I haven't played this before. <laughs> or have I? No, I haven't. Uh, yeah, don't. <laughs> anyway, uh, Haomaru, I'm guessing that means you have a Mii Sword Butter costume. So now we're actually into Samurai Showdown, which, yes, there's no W in that. It's, it's kind of meant to sound like Shogun, I think. I've heard that this series- oh no, you're using the Takamaro costume. I've heard that this series is kind of like proto Soul Calibur-ish, but it also seems to be a little bit like Mortal Kombat, because I heard that it has like kind of gory finishes in some of the games. Main thing I know about it is that it has a character who is just named Earthquake. I think someone at my anime club brought one of the games in one day when we were playing, and um, I always found it funny there was a character just called Earthquake. And I think there's also a character called just called Mars People, but I think they're from Metal Slug. They're like a guest fighter. And there's always thought it was funny. That there's like a singular being who's referred to as Mars People. Plural. But anyway, this I think Samurai Showdown got a. Oh, I, I I'm so used to the King of Fighter stage that I I'm not used to actually being able to straight up walk off edges, people. But, yeah, I think there was recently a new Samurai Showdown game that I think looks actually pretty solid, but anyway. Uh, you, I remember you trying to grab the invitation letter in the trailer and your hawk failing miserably. Stamina battle increased attack power and Zelda and Falco. I suppose that makes sense. It's like a girl using like a bird to attack reminds me of um, Maria in um, the unlockable... Is it Maria? Uh, the the one who's unlockable in some Castlevania game in her young form, where she basically becomes a Disney princess and throws animals to attack. I know she's in Portrait of Ruin, and I know she's also... I think she's in Symphony of the Night as well as an unlockable, but I'm not sure uh, if that's right. Which is interesting, because I'm more used to the older Maria from Symphony of the Night, but the fact that she's actually more iconic in Japan in her younger version... Um, but I don't think that game was localized for a while, so I think that's that's why. Give me that killing edge. I must have my Fire Emblem references, even though this is not a Fire Emblem video. <laughs> well, that insert beheading chicken joke here. Oh, I, I'm in Buster Wolf. Okay. Uh, down forward, down forward. I think that actually was Buster Wolf. I just missed with it. And I can catch you in the air. Good. And you set the ground on fire, that's cool. So yeah, sorry if I'm not really going into too much of my usual video game trivia, but again, like, I really have no idea what most of this stuff is. But yeah, I did look up, um, uh, Athena Asamiya, and she's actually in some of the King of Fighters games. I was about to say, like, a magical girl, like, she's basically a magical girl, from what I can tell. Like, this song is basically a magical girl anime song. Oh, it's the English version too, okay. I might want to end this quickly just in case this song's copyrighted. <laughs> Don't know what the Richter is representing. Oh yeah, I think there were actually two playable characters in her original game, and she was just one of the two. This song is like, admittedly, this song is actually pretty funny. Uh, and actually kind of cool as well. It's, it's like, I think one of the comments on the video with this said like, Finally, a weapon to surpass Ring and Ding. <laughs> but yeah, as I said in the classic mode video, this was apparently one of the first ever video game songs to have vocals. Although I think one of the, the tales of... Oh, oh, that, that would have been great to KO you at almost the same time, but the stupid block saved you. No, you're still in, you're still in there. <laughs> still, still in there because the reflector saved you there. Nope, <laughs> that's like twice the KO flash has happened and you've survived. No, no, don't do that. That, that would end badly. 
Are we gonna actually hit the flagpole? I think this is the longest I've ever seen this stage go on for. Get out of the way of the... Oh, hey, I actually dodged that. But, um, yeah, I think this is the longest I've seen this stage go on for in a stamina battle. <laughs> uh, not stamina, uh, in, a, in a spirit battle. Come on, get over here, please. There we go, finally. But yeah, I think there is a character in one of the Street Fighter spin-offs who's also kind of a magical girl and she's not particularly popular. And yeah, I'm not sure what- I know that Ikari means wrath or rage or anger, but um... I, I'm not really sure what Ikari Warriors is. But I suppose Snake fits for you. And also, yeah, it says Nintendo Scope because I've got the European version. I don't know why it's... I guess in Europe it was, wasn't called Super Scope. Okay, this stage. Yeah, this stage is kind of annoying to find people on. Well, when they just off themselves like that, though, <laughs> makes things a little easier. Don't, ah, uh, recovery. There we go, okay. That wasn't so bad. Okay, this hasn't actually taken all that long, and while I'm here, I might as well look up what Ikari Warriors is. Vertically scrolling, run and gun, shoot em up, arcade game developed by SNK. Does this have any connections to... Oh, apparently the characters in it appear in a later King of Fighters game. Oh, and they also, uh, and Ralph and Clark also appear in Metal Slug 6 and 7. So they, they actually were in King of Fighters, that's interesting. King of Fighters actually crosses over quite a lot of things. And now, this one. Throws of increased power, stamina battle, reduced jump power. And he has his iconic theme music. This might not end well, considering how badly M. Bison went for me, but I do have much stronger spirits now. Let's just use Metal Terry, I guess. And the main thing I know about him, other than the predictable memes, is that he was, um, he was a guest fighter in the new Tekken. I stay in my house with your bride. Is that like a Zelda wig, though? <laughs> Kind of funny. But yeah, I think this is meant to represent his, like, you fight him in the top of the building in that game. I don't know if he's, like, a super... I mean, I know SNK obviously invented the trope SNK boss. Stop suplexing me, please. Um, that's an interesting sentence. Um, like, oh, I was... Yeah. Sometimes that screws me over. Oh, no, 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 I'm dead. Predictable. Well, at least I got his stamina a bit lower. But I don't know if Geese Howard was ever, like, one of those super ridiculous super bosses. Because I know that they also have a character called Rugal Bernstein or something, who got a form called God Rugal in Capcom vs. SNK. Ready? That was kind of like the SNK oh. counterpart to Shinokuma. It would be really funny if you just suicide rock the edge there. Nice. Dodge and counter there. Can I even get back up? And barely. Thank you, lenient ledge gravity. You do seem to kind of magnetize towards the edge sometimes in this game. I know that was definitely not the case in some of the other games in the Smash series. You really like suplexing me. However, this is actually going pretty smoothly. Oh no, you got to go final smash. Oh, I think that was actually good for me in the end. Yeah, that was, that was actually pretty simple. Critical fast final smash meter up up. Okay, that's a mouthful. But, this video is actually not over. Oh, and, uh, hi. Okay. Hadn't actually won against the legend class ten, uh, ten times yet. That looks pretty cool. Still have to do use a battle item ten times, advanced class without spirit team. Yeah, I don't use a lot of spirit board items as you can see. 
So, yeah, this is, that's all of them. That was way easier than I expected. Uh, also, that's Mount Rushmore in the background, which is kind of funny. But, like I said, this is actually not over because they added a new spirit to the Dragon Quest Spirit Board. I'm guessing you're something from the re-release of Dragon Quest um, 11. Anyway, Invisible, Reinforcements, and Beam Sword. Okay. These things remind me a little bit of the, of the, um, the, the, the Higgles in, um, Nino Kuni 2, but I suppose I'll use the hero for this one. I don't think I've actually used Angelo Hero yet. So let's go, you have one more surprise spirit battle here. Also, this is not like the new version of um, of the world map theme from Dragon Quest VIII, the orchestral version. This is still the, the MIDI version. Okay, now I'm gonna have to get used to not being um, not being a fighting game character. Well, technically I am a fighting game character, but a, a platform fighter character rather than a, rather than a you know a fighting game character in a platform fighter. Well, this is chaotic. Uh, I really, really don't want to try and use com command menu just in case Kamikaze shows up. We all know what happened with that last time. Okay, that was impressive. Okay, note to self, spam that move. Except I only have one MP. It's hero time! That catchphrase has nothing to do with Dragon Quest, but I guess it sort of fits here. And nope, one Game & Watch remains. Nope, several Game & Watches remain. Oh, I got a crit there. Uh, let's try, uh, oomph, actually. Actually, forget what that does. I think it raises your, um, like, your smash power. Oh, that's a cool way to end it. Fog immunity. Well, we already have a lot of those. So, yeah, that's it. I It feels weird that it's over this early. I, I expected that to go way longer, but... Yeah, that's probably the first of these not to have any real nightmare spirit battles, apart from this one, which was relatively simple as well. So, yeah, who knows what the last DLC fighter will be? I don't even have any guesses at this point, but I'll see you back here for whoever that is next time.